No sveicienas visiem Riga futbola klaba draugiem no Dubajas, no apvienotajiem Arābu Emirātiem. Arī šogad gatavojamies sezonai tieši šeit, fantastiskos apstākļos. Un sākam tādu kā interviju sēriju, tāds garāks sarunas ar mūsu futbolistiem. Un mūsu tāds pirmais viesis būs mūsu arī jaunpienācējs. Pievienojās gan jau iepriekšējā gada izskaņā, bet šobrīd jau tā nopietni ir iejuties un ir gatavs vairāk parunāt. Tas ir Joselfo Bārns. Bet saruna notiks angļu valodā, tā principā mums šobrīd ir arī tāda galvenā darba valoda treniņos. Tā kā sekojiet līdz arī nākamajiem jaunumiem un ziņām, bet mēs sākam ar šo sarunu. So, one more time, hello to everybody. Riga Football Club is a training, have the training camp in Dubai. Each year we are coming to this country and fantastic conditions to our team and we are starting some interview sessions with the players, talking a little bit more, a little bit longer to know them a little bit better for us and also for you. So our first guest is Joselfo Barnes. Hello. So Joe, first nine days in Dubai, how are you feeling? I'm feeling I'm feeling very good because I think um, all the team and all the stuff and also the new coach, we um, had a little days to come inside. But I think now we are all getting to a really good team, and I think we improve very well. As I said, uh, we need to know a little bit more about uh, you. So maybe start uh, with the beginning uh, about yourself. We see you're born in Germany in Oberhausen, but uh, all your family is from Ghana. Tell a little bit about this. Yeah, um, so my, my father was a professional footballer before the last years. So he went from Ghana to Germany and uh, played a football career there at Bayer Leverkusen and Mainz 05. So um, yeah, that's why we stayed in Germany and my family stayed in Germany. So I was born in Germany and yeah, after thoughts, it was for me easy to decide that I want to play football. Mm -hmm. and and also take the steps of my father. Mm. So now, yeah, I think in the last years I played for Schalke for six years now and uh, moved to Riga now. And I think uh, it's a big step to come here and uh, yeah, play for Riga. Almost all life in Germany, but uh, what are your connections now with the Ghana? Are you visiting this country? Maybe uh, something about this? Yeah, um, I was born in Germany, but I feel um, like I'm a proud Ghanaian. So that's also why uh, I play for the national team of Ghana for the under 20 and under 23. And I hope uh, also in the future for the first team. Yeah, um, I believe that um, we can achieve really good with the team here and also for me personally and uh, individually for the national team. So uh, yeah, for me it's like I'm half-half German guy and also a Ghana guy. You speak also German, no problem. Of yes. course, no problem. English and... Uh, English, yeah. German, Ghana. Uh -huh. Okay, you have represented the, the teams of Ghana under 20, under 23. Last year you won the African Nations Cup. Uh, how big is this tournament? And uh... Yeah, um, you have to think about that um, Africa is a country that uh, doesn't doesn't have so much tournaments. So I think um, Africa Cup is quite a big tournament and the biggest tournament in the whole uh, in the whole nation of Africa. So I think yes, uh, for me when I went there, I feel this atmosphere atmosphere of like it's a big thing to win this mm -hmm. trophy. Also, people is uh, watching this and the interest is big. Yeah, it's really big. Yeah, it's uh, Ghana is a country uh, of football. They really like football and they really uh, feel a big step in football so i think yes um, i saw like all the fans was uh, watching the africa cup and all the fans was feeling like yeah we have to win we can say that uh, in ghana football is without doubt the most popular sports and it is like a big dream for little boys to become a football players yeah? yes yes of course um, in ghana you can see much of footballers uh, they are very good but they don't get the opportunity to come to europe so that's why also the um, you have big of play big players and many players uh, that are with you and are fighting for the nation you said that uh, many players don't uh, have a chance to go to the Europe from Ghana, but uh, your story is uh, different. Uh, you are born in Oberhausen and uh, in Germany. So tell a little bit about this uh, city and uh, about your first uh, in first years in uh, Germany. Yeah, uh, it was like um, because my father was a footballer yeah. of Oberhausen at the end, so that's mm -hmm. why I was born in Oberhausen. Mm -hmm. But uh, all the time I stayed in Leverkusen. Mm -hmm. I uh, also was in the youth of Leverkusen and then joined Cologne and then Schalke. So um, yeah, I think uh, I know a bit much about Germany and all 
all the cities a little bit, so I think I can tell you much more about every city. Mm -hmm. How Germany and the Ghana football is different? Yeah, that's that's a big thing you said. Um, I think it's like um, a bit of the style of playing. In Germany, you can see it's more tactical and more of technical. But in Africa and Ghana, you can see it's more fighting because mm -hmm. the player, the players, they they have to fight for the for the food. It's like that, how I say it. Many of players don't have the money, don't have this opportunity, like I said, to come mm -hmm. to Europe. So if they play, they really play with their heart and with fighting. So you can see in every tackle, you see this this fire in every player. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's talk about this. Before Schalke, you changed many academies. It is because of the father move to the other clubs, where, or which was the reason? Why no, um, I think for me was the reason. Uh, I always had to feel like I'm I'm safe in the club. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's like I always take a step, step, step slowly. But I think the steps I take, it would even get bigger in the end. Also so. in the academy level, yeah? Yes, 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 yes. That's why I always change the club and always change the academy because I think for me it's better always to come in a new atmosphere and take the new power inside of me. How much, uh, how big uh, the role of the father was in these uh, decisions? Really, really big. Uh, even today I, was, I will always talk to my father. If, uh, every evening we are talking with phone, he said to me like, yeah, I have to push, I have to power because he himself, he know how it is to join the club from your family, to mm -hmm. get out of the country. So he knows how I feel now. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah, my father has a big role mm -hmm. in my life now. What was uh, his story? Maybe you can tell us short how he uh, get, get from uh, Ghana to yeah. Europe. It was, it was like um, he also played in Ghana for a, a small club there mm -hmm. and then it was like yeah they called him to the under 17 national team of Ghana mm -hmm. this time and they played the World Cup with the under 17 Ghana and it was like in Ghana they were like well, you have to imagine like 150 players mm -hmm. and they all fight for this for this position in the national team so my father Luckily, he get this position and then he played this under 17 World Cup with Ghana and then they won. Mm -hmm. After they won, he get this offer from Bayer Leverkusen from Germany and mm -hmm. for him it was like a big chance and he said like he was not thinking one second not to go and then he joined Bayer Leverkusen. He also joined the big club uh, Schalke. How big for you was this uh, move to the academy, big academy and big club like is uh, Schalke? It was really amazing. I felt like I was getting like every game was like I enjoyed every second. You could say you could see that every fan of the club, every staff, every coach was like feeling this atmosphere at Schalke, and it was a really big power. Also in the game, you could feel it as a player. It was not like you played for yourself. It was like you played for you, yourself, for the coaches, and for the whole of the fans mm -hmm. in the club. So it was like really, really good time there. How they found you? How they saw you? Which was the reason why they took and? Uh, um, before Schalke, I played at Fortuna Köln Academy and then we had a test match against mm -hmm. them. And you know, if you play in an uh, academy like this and you play against like a team like Schalke 04, you think like, wow, mm -hmm. I have to give everything. Yes, and uh, luckily for me, I shoot in this game two goals. I, I was a striker and then I shoot these two goals and then Schalke was like, wow, who is this boy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in the evening I came home from training from the academy and then my father told me, my boy, Schalke, called here and said they want you. I was like, no, never. Mm. And that's why I joined Schalke. Mm. What is different when you join uh, Schalke and maybe if you compare with the other academies where you were at? Yeah, it's like um, you can see the professional level. The mm. professional level is really high. You can see like the coaches and the staffs in the club like Schalke, they really work on the individuals of you. Mm. If you have some problem with the technical, they mm. train with you. If you have some problem with the shooting, they train with you. So in the academy, it's more like the team. Mm -hmm. More like, okay, when you are not good, then we need someone else. Mm -hmm. If it's not like the, but at a big club like Schalke, they always look at your mm. defaults and then they try and to they do they give that. you the chance to get your maximum, yeah? Yes. They work yes, uh, yes, to yes, see yes, what is your yes. maximum. For me, I think um, it doesn't give a maximum. It mm. always get better, but mm. yes, I think at Schalke, I was getting better and better. You said how big it is, but uh, in uh, under 16 level, what it is? It's uh, like a professional, you train, uh, how, how many trainings do you have? Where do you live and what is your schedule? Mm, it was like uh, we trained four times a week mm. and um, yeah, we always looked 
up to the professionals. It was like if you train and you see like some player like Raul, I don't know if you know him, yeah, yeah. yeah big player. Um, he was like under 16 and you think like, oh, wow, I want to get to this level. Yeah. yeah, and then it was like we had four times a week training and every time everyone is giving like power. I want to go to the next step, to the next step, to yeah. the next step. Yeah. Maybe you was meeting with some Latvian guys at that time? I, uh, yeah, I, I played against some Latvian guys, so mm -hmm. I know them. Uh, Bogdan, mm -hmm. one is Bogdan, he played for FC Cologne. I Someone think. Else, yes. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. he is now in Meta. Also, you know that he was yeah, playing last yes. year and the best of the yes, second yes, division. Yes. Also, I played uh, some, some weeks with uh, Yanis Kringbeks. Yeah. I think he's also now also, in uh, also. Meta. Yeah, so I think I know a little bit of the Latvian culture. Okay, after Schalke, you join uh, Riga Football Club. Uh, uh, we don't have so big history, but uh, already some achievements, uh, some trophies. Uh, what was the main reasons why you took this uh, chance and took this offer? Yeah, you already said it. Uh, it was like I saw the trophies and I'm a player I always want to win. I always want to win. I want to fight and want to achieve these trophies. So I th for me, it was like in my career now, I'm a young player. And I think, um, yeah, I have to achieve really more goals than other players in my age. Mm. So I was like, okay, if I come here to the club and I fight for my football career, I think like it will even be easier than staying in Germany because mm. I think like if I improve here, not only in the international stage, but also in the European stage, mm. I think it will be for me even easier to do the next step in my career. Mm. But your situation in uh, Schalke second team in the last year, what it was like? You was playing, I saw, yeah, 11 games, but uh, overall your situation, what uh, what you were feeling? About yeah, it was a little bit difficult for me because uh, I just came from the youth side, from the under 90s up to the mm -hmm. second team. And um, yeah, you can you could see that um, it was a little bit difficult for me to come in this this man football inside, this power football. So I was a little bit, a little bit down from the other players, but I think like, yeah, for now the next step to Riga is a really good step because it's also other typical football of Germany, so I think. But really in Schalke too, there was also some experienced guys playing or? Of course, of that? course, of course. It's mm -hmm. uh, mix. a mix mix of, um, of players. It's uh, young players and mixed with old players. So the old players have to take the young players up and show them how to play football, how to behave, mm -hmm. how to, yeah, like it was like this. What did you know about uh, Latvia, about Riga before coming to our country? Yeah, not that much, but I um, always know that Riga is a really cultured city and Riga is also a really nice city. So all the pictures I saw, I was never before in Riga, but mm -hmm. the pictures I saw, it was like, wow, crazy for me, like such a nice city. Or also in summer, but also in, in winter when the snow comes, it's mm -hmm. like really incredible. You already saw the snow in Germany, so it was not so difficult. Not so yeah. Difficult, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, about uh, Riga, about uh, about club. What else do you know? Did you know something? Maybe you talked to some players about Riga, or how was this negotiations about uh, about the Riga Football Club? Yeah. Do you knew it better. For me, it was like um, I always saw that Riga was in the group stages of the European League, also Champions League sometime, and then also now in the Conference League. And for me, it was like wow, mm -hmm. this is a really traditional club. So there are small town small uh, country but like they want to achieve more even more so that's what i know about the club and also like um, i had some few players uh, that were playing against riga mm. in the oro league last year uh, like jeremy Fringpong, mm. he was playing in Ce celtic, celtic yeah yeah last year so um he told me yeah he really loved it to play against riga it was a tough game for it them. Was, yeah, it was a really tough game. Yeah, and then he said, disappointing for us. <laughs> yeah, and then he said, like, if you have the chance to go to Riga, then take it. And then I was like, okay. Your first experience, first games uh, with Riga was in uh, Cyprus. You got your first goals. Uh, how important it is for player coming from different country to different club, a young age, to score those goals for its confidence and so on? I think it's really important, really important. I just came inside uh, just for training uh, in the few weeks I came before. So um, it was e even better for me to take these matches before of break. Mm. Yeah, and then we went to Cyprus and then like even the best thing comes to the best things and then like I shoot two goals in the tournament and I was like wow it gave me so much confidence for now even for the new beginning here in Riga for the new season now here in Dubai to take this confidence in the last games mm. here. Is this your first time in Dubai? 
It's my first time in Dubai. How do you like? It's, it's incredible. <laughs> I never seen such a nice country before. Mm -hmm. Conditions in this training camp. Uh, previously, we have players who have played in big clubs. You was in big academy. Can you compare where you were training maybe in the off seasons? Uh, what was the conditions maybe in Schalke second team and what uh, is like here? Yeah, in the youth um, Schalke second team, it's not that professional like here. You could see it like um, everything was like flowing and everything was like the same like here. But like now you can see like the staff and everything is like everything have his job. Mm -hmm. So it's like incredible. You can see like it's really professional here and I really love it like that because if you have professional conditions, you play professional. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, yeah, that's also like here in Dubai, what I see, it's really good and really good for the team also. Mm -hmm. uh, for our country, uh, we made some, not some, but one very big uh, announcement uh, before the season about the new head coach, Thorsten Fink, big name in Germany. For you, it was a surprise and uh, what emotions for you it, and what it means that uh, Thorsten Fink will be your coach, the winner of the Champions League, uh, four-time Bundesliga and so on. Yeah, first of all, I want to say in Germany, Thorsten Fink is a legend. So for me, it was like I was really shocked in the first moment because I thought like, wow, mm -hmm. a player or a coach like this come to a club like Riga. Mm -hmm. But then I think like, okay, this is a really good opportunity for me as a German boy with a German coach to take the next steps in my career. So I was like even more happier than before. What he, he is like a person, uh, because uh, he's big name like a football player. He's also already big name as a coach because many trophies he ha had. Uh, how can you communicate? Uh, how is your relationship uh, with the coach? It's really good. It's really good because um, he feel the emotions of the players mm. because he himself, he was a player before. So I think um, you can never change this from a person if a, if a player, if a coach plays before in the last year. So I think like this relationship between me and the coach and also with the other players is a, a special, mm. a special connection because like he played before. So he every time he knows like, mm, why is this player not running or why is mm. this player shooting the goals? So, and then like he comes to you and say like, oh, Bans, mm. you have to do more or Bans, mm. come here and do this. And that's also a really good thing for me. What is uh, his idea about the football? What uh, football you see we will play this year? Yeah, um, he always always say he want to play ball position. Mm -hmm. He want to keep the ball. He want to play against the op opponent. Mm -hmm. So I think um, I love this style of playing because it's like offensive playing. And uh, yeah, um, before you stand in the defense and get some goals inside, you yourself go for the goals and then you win the match. So I think this is a really good thing from the coach. What can you say about uh, our schedule now in uh, Dubai? A lot of trainings, uh, morning runs, uh, you need to get up before 7 a.m. I think. Uh, how tough it is and uh, how are you responding to this? Yeah, it's really tough, but we are professional footballers and if you want to achieve more, you have to do it. And I think like in a preparation, it's normal. So um, yeah, we just work on our individual football and I think if we do it and we we fight for our goals, then I think everything will be okay. We have a lot of players who was last last year, but uh, overall we are building like a new team. And uh, for me, it was uh, nice to see our atmosphere now in the bus after the hard trainings. I see you all these guys singing. How are you? How you see this uh, situation in this building process about the atmosphere, about the relationship between guys? Uh, you can see in the team now um, there are many different uh, types of persons, mm -hmm. and I think this is really good. Also, many cultures, many uh, different countries of players, and I think this is what a team makes good because if you have different types of players and everybody comes together is what like we're improving for now you can see like every player is going to another one and say like oh how are you oh how are you doing oh how was the training then you can see like everybody wants to stuck together and if we get this thing and we become a big family i think we can achieve so much more which one is the most funny guy and the best friend for you <laughs> i think the most funny guy in the team i think it's me but the best friend for me um, is also the new guy Baba. Mm -hmm. It's like a brother for me because he also come from Ghana and I think we have a really good atmosphere. I've always uh, been with him in the room mm -hmm. in every hotel. We also so. have some story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Getting, to, yeah. getting to this club. 
And also you, uh, as I understand, are the DJ yeah, of the team. I'm also the DJ of the team. Someone is coming, uh, ordering music, or uh, it's all about you and no, all, all the decide. all the players can come and all the players come for ordering some mu music. It's no problem, but like the normal music comes from me. <laughs> normal only from you, but uh, no problem with your decisions. Yeah? No, 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 Nobody no. Can. Everybody likes my music. Mm -hmm. and okay, what's your goals uh, for the new season? What do you want to achieve? Yeah, I want to achieve even more than more than it's possible but I think um, for me now I'm a striker and I'm a forward I'm an offensive player and I want to shoot so much goal as possible and um, yeah also become a better player of me so uh, I don't think you're a professional player if you have a contract at some professional club I think you're a professional player if every day you wake up and give 100 percent so I think every training every game every friendly match we have I think if I get this confidence and get this 100 percent from me, I think I will achieve my goals and yeah, get As to I the next see, step. There, there is no discussion, no doubts about uh, your uh, motivation. Eh? It's very high. It's very high. It's very high. Okay, thank, thank you. you.